The Alabama arc is fully in session. Sugu has realized that the Discord kitten, or she is a Discord kitten, and her online boyfriend that she escaped to because her real boyfriend or brother, not brother, cousin, Onichan, you know, is in love with Asuna. Now she's realizing, oh shit, I got double cuck? What am I gonna do? Let's find out today's reaction. If this is how it is, I wish you'd kept on being a jerk to me. Realized how I felt. Let's watch this. Let's, let's, let's watch this. Hold on. Hold on. I, I want to see. Let's, so let's, let's see the guys. Let's, let's get the English voice it. acting. Fall in love with Kirito instead. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Link start. I gotta go see my wife now. Goodbye, Leafa. Leave me alone. Okay. Bond, brotherly sibling bonds? Cousin bonds? What kind of bonds? Oh, he's gaming with the orange juice. Damn, she's really been just training the art of the sword, the art of the blade. Damn. So, like, Sugu was supposed to be his sister, but then it was revealed that, you know, it's actually cousins, right? Right? And then it's like, and then he's like, I, I don't know any damn, what is she? What am I? I'm gonna go jack off to hentai now. It's like he just started gaming. Does that make sense? Does it? I mean, I, you, I mean, none of us has ever been in the perspective, right? None, none of us has ever been in the perspective of someone like Kirito's situation, right? But truly, Kirito was gaming while Sugu was studying the, the art of the blade. <laughs> okay. Both team! Tiffany! Silica! Are you coming back or what? Yui! No Sachi? No Sachi? Did Kaiba straight up get a scene over Sachi? No shot. There was... Oh my god, Sachi got skipped over. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty it was pretty sad memories, right? He probably wasn't one to remember it, but he he remembered, you know, Balls Deep, Tiffany, Silica, you know, Lisbeth, <laughs> Yui, Heathcliff, Kaiba, but not Sachi. <laughs> Fuck Gary too, man. Fuck Gary too. My family needs to be saved! Okay. Listen, I am not addicted to porn. My brain is not rotten. But when I see a spade, I will call it a spade. Look at this animation. Gotta actually play it through. Watch this. Look, look at the, look at the motions. What in the Alabama is happening right now? Why is Sugu taking invisible ghost back shots right now? You could give Sugu your saber. Yeah. <laughs> so like. Closes the door. Leave me alone. And Kirito's like, <laughs> Sugu, I'll see you in the game in a bit. Lock back on, bitch. <laughs> Is she actually gonna do it? In the game or mentally here? What do you mean? <laughs> mentally IRL, I think. Yeah, you should have never told him. That was your chance. You could have fucking seduced Kirito. In fact, you even visited the hospital. You could have fucking pulled the plug, put the fucking pillow over Asuna. You had all your chances and you... Well, it's not fair. She didn't know. She didn't know that Kirito was Kazuto, man. So we're gonna just act like nothing happened? Like, what are we gonna do here? Are we straight up just gonna not talk about it? Like, what? 
This is so awkward now. Recon! <laughs> I forgot about that pull-out line. Really? Rekon's probably like, fuck yes. Now it's my chance to get Leafa. Recon, take your chance. It's a rebound. Recon rebound. Let's go. Why? You sound like Panty Smasher from a bridge. This is not the character you're supposed to be playing right now, Leafa. What are you? General Panty Smasher, that's right. Oh, confession! <laughs> he went for a chew and she fucking punches him off this flight of stairs. <laughs> this is so fucked up. But it's so funny of how bizarre and ridiculous this is. Recon rebound, GG, dude. Maybe Sugu does deserve this. I don't know. I everything here was pretty good, right? Everything here was pretty good until he went for the chew, right? I don't. He should have backed off a bit. I was committing too hard. He's trying to do like level ten things when he needs to like ramp it up, right? You were you were setting the stage, but you can't just fucking jump to the fucking end goal. Always oh, back. Yeah, and you had the courage and you got fucking punched down a flight of stairs and you're getting called an idiot. This is fucked up. Alright, we should punch this bitch off the fucking flight of stairs too. Where's Kitty at? Alright, what are we doing here? This is where we're meeting? This looks like a fucking duel arena. Hey. Stay in character. No, oh, no, never mind. Do actual do Yeah, kill her and take the sword so we can dual wield in the fucking tree. Oh, the earlier part of the season where they actually did duel with the kendo, right? They did they They had a scene of that like the kendo, right? They I I remember. He made fun of that pose last time. Oh, oh. Nani? Ultimate technique. What is it? Oh, 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 oh! What the fuck was that? What, what, did, she, did she give up at the end? She, she, I thought she was gonna go with like a fucking ultimate technique. That, at the end, she, she just like, just kind of just gave up. We need to do a wield! Why'd you catch me? Oh. Oh. oh? What is the soundtrack? What is the soundtrack playing? Why are you holding her like that? No shot, we're going with the Alabama ending. Ain't no way! Why are we spinning in the air like this while wholesome soundtrack's playing? Okay. Until Asuna opens her eyes, I am still in like the game in the past, and I still don't know what my answer is for you. So just wait and be my Saito, be my Discord kitten until Asuna opens her eyes, and then <laughs> I might just throw you away. What the fuck? Is Suku gonna get done dirty again later? <laughs> That should do it. Kirito just fucking uses Lipa as a tool. Now she's just fucking helping us of her own volition after just telling her, like, mm, I, I, I fuck, you know, my wife still hasn't opened her eyes. I don't know how to feel about this. Why, why don't you just, you know, just help me out until she opens her eyes and then we can figure out after that. <laughs> and Suga's like, okay, Onichi! <laughs> <laughs> 
Those are swords! Dual seal, dual wield. The swords are crossing. Symbolism that it's love? That's what's happening, Rick God. Oh, we are cooked. This is our team. This is our Recon Leva Kitty. This is our party to clear the hardest fucking you know, level of this game. Climb the fucking world tree. We are done, dude. Oh, where are the salamanders? Call Eugene. What about our alliance? What are we doing? Fucking put Recon up there as fucking decoy and then open the gate. What the fuck does that mean? With Pop, I know that the SAO data carried over and he's got crack skill proficiency, so I guess he is like a hack player that could be the only one to clear this infinite difficulty. What? <laughs> Leafa and I are like the one same body and soul. Shut the fuck up, bitch. What are you talking about? Don't embarrass me in front of my fucking online boyfriend who's actually my fucking brother. <laughs> All right, get the hands in there. Yui, get your hand in there too. Nice, Yui. Nice. But they just support. <laughs> Gotta be a lot more comfortable with Eugene helping us rather than Recon. Give it to us healers. And for some reason, these mobs won't target the healers. Okay. Never mind. Where's my soundtrack? There it is. This is why taking Recon is not enough. Where is our backup? Wow, algorithms, AI. <laughs> Get oh 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 oh, 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 And you're just being used as a tool, Recon. Oh? Oh, oh, wait! Wait! He's gonna be useful? What is it doing? Just... Okay, he's gonna help fight. Okay, Recon! Okay, Recon! I see you! I see you, Recon! You should have just been always like this, man! Dark magic? What happened if he uses dark magic? What? Oh! Bro, just fucking suicide bomb! That's an opening! That's all Recon! What's the death penalty? 20 minutes of fucking respawn time instead of 10 minutes, but honestly... Salute to Recon. I underestimated this game. That was pretty cool. Dude, there's so many though. What the fuck? Recon sacrifice didn't matter? What the fuck? Cage did the fucking other Sills? Where? Uh oh. Plot armor! Blood armor! Our backup! Who called them? Who called them? Recon? Did you do it? Other... Uh, uh, dragon? Flying dragons? Wait... The Kate... They... They don't have wings? Like, their only method of flying is through dragon mounts? This race, specifically? Is that true? Did we ever see the cat... The cat people ever, you know, fly with their wings? I honestly can't remember. So they're the only race that has no wings but can fly with dragons, huh? That's a pretty good trade-off. Honestly, I would prefer the dragon... Uh, I don't know. Flying with the wings through VR escape game sounds cool, but riding a dragon sounds fucking amazing too. Yo! 
sword has fucking beams too. Now, we are two episodes out after this one until the finale of season one. But like, what the fuck are the spree guns? I mentioned this in episode 13 of Bridged Episode. I was saying, you know how Kirito basically was about to spawn in spree gun territory and then he got ported to Sylph territory and the reasoning is SAO data got corrupted, right? SAO data being merged and it was corrupted. And then I made the point of like, listen, what if the author was just so fucking lazy that he just wanted Kirito to be in an all black, like, you know, a character design. So he made him a Sprigan and then had a bullshit reasoning and then went to Sylph. So Sprigans never fucking mattered. It's just for him to be the, 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 the fucking black swordsman, you know? But like, if they show up later, if they show up later, I'll be like, all right, they matter. But if they don't, straight up, the author's trolling, bro. Race made up just so Kirito could be wearing black. Isn't that crazy? Swordland, Swordland. I want to see Sakura do something. Oni Chan! Siblings are back! Alabama and Plotline's back! Recon Clutch! That's all you had to do. Straight up. Like, your only existence is to give Kirito the sword so he can fucking dual wield and clutch. Let's go! Oh! He combined that shit! That's crazy. All we had to do was get another sword and just fucking place it together like a sandwich. And then we could do something like this. This is fucking insane, dude. <laughs> Did he? Did he have yellow eyes there? Let's check. When did he get the yellow eyes, right? Let's let's check. I'm very interested in this. Sometimes they do do this, right? Whenever he gets like main plot armor action, right? So I think still it's like gray, right? He, he's about to get dual wield. Dual wielding. He goes, Zee! oh, yellow eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. During this moment, yeah. What does that mean other than plot armor, right? Is there actual important lore behind yellow eye Kirito? All right, we're out. Bye bye. Yeah, we don't have to fight anymore. True. So, duh. Let's just get it to now. Solo. He's used to solo. Go find Asna. Yui! Oh, we got stole Yui. The fuck, wait, 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 Hackerman, activating the mainframe. I'm in, oh, Papa. Me. Uh, I was half expecting her to like swipe the fucking card like it's a fucking credit card machine. Like take the card and just fucking swipe it a a along the fucking cracks. Like chip, chip, and then it would have fucking opened. <laughs> I, I, I would have believed it. <laughs> oh. And that's the episode. Somehow, in the span of one episode, we saved the, you know, the, the disaster, the train wreck that is the Sugu and Kirito relationship. But did we save it though? We're prolonging it. We are prolonging it, right? Like, come on. Like, she, his reasoning was like, listen, Asna, she's still sleeping. 
And that means, to me, I'm like still back in the game. And therefore, I don't know how I should feel about you, Sugu. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna keep you as my Discord kitten for now. Just wait till last snow opens her eyes. What the fuck is gonna happen? Part of me just feels like Sugu should go with Recon, man. I know Recon is a little wimpy little bitch right now, but he's got plenty of time to grow up. Maybe he'll be a fucking Giga Chat, man. Give him some time. Maybe Recon and Sugu can have an actual fucking relationship instead of Sugu chasing after fucking Oni-chan, bro. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I. 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 I just. This is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster that got saved kind of quick by a duel where she just dropped a sword to kind of see like does Onichan like still love me, right? That's kind of the idea here. If I just fell down, would you catch me? And he did. So I'm like, all right. I I guess it makes sense. Kind of fucked up how dirty you know Recon got you know did like like straight up, Sugu straight up punched this kid after he confessed her. Imagine being punched down a flight of stairs after confessing to a girl. The worst thing she could say is no, no. She could fucking punch you down the stairway, call you a fucking moron, then laugh and then make her and then make you fucking help her love interest. But hey, Recon did like dark magic. He went out with a, with a bang, literally. It was pretty cool and good to see our alliance helping us out. Now, we're in the home stretch. We're like at the final fucking part where we're supposed to face Oberon and, you know, save Asuna. But bro is literally the fucking GM, right? In a game, how can you beat the GM? His fucking yellow eyes are going to activate again? I don't fucking know, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.